Drake. Born Aubrey Drake Graham on October 24, 1986 in Toronto, Canada, has become one of the most influential and successful artists in the modern music industry. From his early days as an actor on the popular Canadian TV show Degrassi, The Next Generation, to becoming a global hip-hop and R&B sensation, Drake's journey to stardom is a testament to his versatility, talent, and relentless work ethic. Over the years, he's redefined what it means to be a multifaceted artist, with his influence extending far beyond music into fashion, business, and pop culture. I'm your host, Chris Thompson, and this is an IRL Media Entertainment Hot Take. Let's get into it. Drake was raised in Toronto by his mother, Sadie Graham, after his parents separated when he was five years old. His father, Dennis Graham, a drummer who worked with legendary artists like Jerry Lee Lewis, had a significant influence on Drake's early exposure to music. Growing up, Drake faced many challenges of navigating his identity and social environment, which he often reflects on in his lyrics. He attended Forest Hill Collegiate Institute and later Vaughn Road Academy, where he balanced his burgeoning acting career with his education. Here are 20 facts you may not know about Drake. First up, Drake's breakthrough with Best I Ever Had. Drake's career skyrocketed with the release of his 2009 hit single, Best I Ever Had. The song, which was part of his third mixtape, So Far Gone, received critical acclaim and marked the beginning of his rise to mainstream success. It peaked at number two on the Billboard Hot 100 list, solidifying Drake as a formidable influence in the music industry. Number two. Drake's Degrassi days. Before his music career took off, Drake was known for his role as Jimmy Brooks on the teen drama series Degrassi, The Next Generation. He played the character from 2001 to 2009, and he portrayed a high school basketball star who became paralyzed after a school shooting, and Drake was widely praised for his acting. His acting experience not only showcased his talent, but also gave him a platform that he later leveraged to launch his music career. Number three. Drake's record label. In 2012, Drake co-founded the record label OVO Sound with a longtime producer Noah and friend Oliver. OVO Sound has since become a powerhouse in the music industry, signing successful artists like Party Next Doe and DVSN. The label has played a crucial role in shaping the sound of contemporary hip hop and R&B. Number four, Drake's love of Toronto. Drake has always been a proud ambassador of his hometown Toronto. He frequently references the city in his music and has helped put it on the global map as a cultural hub. His deep connection to Toronto is also evident in his annual OVO Fest, a music festival he started in 2010 that features performances by some of the biggest names in music in Toronto. Number five, Drake's acting career beyond Degrassi. While Degrassi is Drake's most notable acting role, he's made many other appearances in film and television. He voiced the character in the animated film Ice Age, Continental Drift, and appeared as a guest host on Saturday Night Live two times, showcasing his comedic talents and versatility as an entertainer. Number six, Drake's record-breaking streaming numbers. Drake has consistently broken records with his streaming numbers. His 2018 album, Scorpion, was streamed over one billion times in his first week, and now has over 10 billion streams, a feast that solidifies his status as the king of streaming. Drake's ability to dominate the streaming platforms is a testament to his widespread appeal and loyalty of his fan base. Number seven, Drake's influence on fashion. Drake's influence extends beyond music into the world of fashion. He's collaborated with major brands like Nike, creating the OVO Air Jordan line, which has been highly sought after by sneaker enthusiasts. His OVO clothing brand is also popular, blending streetwear with high fashion and became a staple for fans and fashionistas alike. Number eight, Drake's relationship with Rihanna. Drake's on-again, off-again relationship with pop star Rihanna has been the subject of much media attention over the years. The two have collaborated on several hit songs, including What's My Number and Take Care, fueling speculation about their romantic involvement. Obviously, Rihanna is now with ASAP Rocky and has been since 2020, and they've raised two children together. Although Drake and Rihanna's relationship status has always been a mystery, their chemistry both on and off the stage is undeniable. Number 9. Drake's Grammy Wins Drake has won five Grammy Awards and received over 51 nominations, a testament to his impact on the music industry. 
His first Grammy win came in 2013 for Best Rap Album with Take Care, an album that is considered one of his best works. Despite his success, Drake has had a contentious relationship with the Grammys, often criticizing the organization for its lack of recognition of hip-hop artists. Number 10. Drake's Feud with Other Rappers Drake has been involved in several high-profile feuds with other rappers, including Meek Mill and Pusha T. His beef with Meek Mill in 2015 led to the release of the diss track Back to Back, which is widely praised and even earned a Grammy nomination. Then there's his current feud with Kendrick Lamar. These feuds seem to only add to Drake's legendary status. Number 11. Drake's Role as a Businessman In addition to his music career, Drake is a savvy businessman. He's invested in various ventures, including the Virginia Black Whiskey brand and a partnership with the esports company 100 Thieves. Drake's business acumen has helped him build an empire that extends far beyond music, making him one of the wealthiest artists in the industry. Number 12. Drake's Philanthropy Drake is also known for his philanthropy, often giving back to the community. In 2018, he donated $1 million to various causes as part of his God's Plan music video where he gave away money to students, families, and charities. His generosity has made a significant impact, further endearing him to fans and demonstrating his commitment to making a difference. Number 13, Drake's Tattoo Collection. Drake's body is adorned with numerous tattoos, many of which have personal significance. His portraits of his family members, including his father and his son, as well as tributes to artists who have influenced him, like Little Wayne and Sade, adorn his body. Drake's tattoos are a reflection of his life and career, each telling a story about his journey. Number 14. Drake's role as a father Drake became a father in 2017 when his son Adonis was born. He kept his son's existence private for over a year, revealing him to the world on his 2018 album Scorpion. Drake has since embraced fatherhood, often sharing glimpses of his life with Adonis on social media and expressing his love for his son in his music. Number 15. Drake's Mansion in Toronto Drake's love for Toronto is evident in his choice of residence. He owns a sprawling mansion in the city's exclusive Bridal Path neighborhood, which he calls the Embassy. The 50,000 square foot property features a basketball court, an indoor swimming pool, and a recording studio, making it the ultimate luxury home for a music mogul. Number 16. Drake's Chart-Topping Hits Drake holds the record for the most charted songs in the Billboard Hot 100 list, with 333 total entries. His ability to consistently release hit after hit has kept him at the top of the charts for over a decade. Songs like Hotline Bling and God's Plan, as well as In My Feelings, have become cultural anthems, showcasing his talent in creating music that resonates with a wide audience. Number 17. Drake's Role in the NBA Drake is a die-hard basketball fan, particularly of the Toronto Raptors. He serves as the team's global ambassador and is often seen courtside at games and participate in team events. His presence has helped elevate the Raptors brand, and he was even awarded an NBA championship ring when the team won the title in 2019. Number 18. Drake's Connection to Little Wayne Drake's career took off when he signed with Little Wayne's Young Money Entertainment in 2009. Little Wayne served as a mentor to Drake, helping him navigate the music industry and giving him the platform to showcase his talent. Their close relationship has resulted in numerous collaborations, and Drake often credits Little Wayne with helping him achieve his success. Number 19. Drake's Role as an Innovator in Music Drake is known for pushing the boundaries of music, blending genres like hip-hop, R&B, and dancehall to create a unique sound that has influenced countless artists. His ability to experiment with different styles and his willingness to embrace new trends have kept him relevant in the ever-changing music industry. Drake's innovation has made him a trendsetter, with many of his musical choices setting the tone for future hip-hop and R&B. Number 20. Drake's Longevity in the Music Industry Drake's ability to maintain his relevance and success in the music industry for over a decade is a testament to his talent and adaptability. While many artists come and go, Drake has remained a constant presence, continuously evolving his sound and staying connected with his audience. His longevity is a rare achievement in the music industry, where trends change rapidly and artists often struggle to stay on top. 
Drake's journey from a young actor in Toronto to one of the most successful and influential artists of his generation is nothing short of remarkable. As he continues to push the boundaries of what's possible in music and beyond, Drake's success story is far from over. If you like this video, do me a solid to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. I'm your host Chris Thompson, and this has been an IRL Media Entertainment Hot Take.